there guys, Coaster Chattel here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. Now, as you've seen by my social media, I've had my official first COVID jab, uh, which is really nice today. Bit of a achy left arm, but uh, I'm sure I can only use my right hand to do the job. Uh, now, the first of these theme park news and updates, we do have another video coming tonight from Dollywood, which I'll film after this, as of recording this. But the first one is from Wild Adventures, because I've been sent something very, very interesting by a good friend of mine, Thrill Quirk, uh, whose uh, home park is Six Flags Over Georgia, so massive shout out to him for sending me this. Originally it came from the Instagram story of Thrill Capture, so shout out to Thrill Capture as well, uh, but Cheetah at Wild Adventures. Now, we know that was going, but what we didn't know was what could be replacing it and when. We may have a hint as to what could be happening this for this ride and the site. So, before we get started with all that, guys, make sure you like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. Subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We're on the road to 3,000 subs. We're going to try and get to 4K by the end of the year. If not, I'll settle for 3,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Also, guys, a million views of the target. We're nearly three quarters of the way there, so please, 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 let's get closer and closer. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links uh, and also the dis uh, Discord server and the uh, Google Forms link. We're can submit your own ideas for videos on this channel and for now guys let's have a look at exactly what's going on with cheetah at wild adventures because trust me you should be excited about this so on your screen now fan dabby dozy you can see it already look at this from thrill capture sent to me by thrill quirk there it is you can see the track has been removed from the structure but the structure is still there now obviously this brings up many different suggestions, which I'll talk more about uh, in a little bit. But just to give you guys a bit of uh, a fact file, a little bit of a fact file uh, on this coaster. Uh, it's been SBNO since the 16th of March 2020, but it operated uh, from uh, 16th of June 2001 uh, to the 15th of March 2020. Uh, in January 2021, the park state of the Cheetah Roller Coaster would be retired to make room for new and exciting changes in the coming years. What could this mean? We'll discuss it more later. But this coaster had a length of 2,680 feet, a height of 92 feet, a drop of 90 feet, a speed of 52 miles per hour, a chain lift till it was built by Custom Coast International Incorporated, and it's been listed on RCDB as a hybrid already now obviously that is steel structure and wooden track now i'm very excited to see what cheetah could be replaced with and i'm going to talk through a couple of different options right about now so there we are ladies and gentlemen thrill six of all ages that is talking about cheetah wild adventures a little bit of a fat file on the coast for those of you who didn't watch the first video on this development but also a little bit on what the site currently looks like now with the track removed and the structure still in place now obviously this coaster is currently a hybrid already with the wooden track and the steel structure however there's two potential routes to go down here to make it a fully steel roller coaster the first option is, of course, GCI Titan Track. We're seeing this done to Predator at Six Flags Darien Lake. We've seen it done to parts of uh, White Lightning, first of all. Uh, fun spot. So, I feel like th this could be an option. I feel like, you know, obviously... They've not really done it to um, to build new coasters. There's not been a, a new Titan Track GCI coaster from scratch uh, yet. Uh, they've only sort of selected parts of different coasters and just replaced them with the Titan Track in places, already existing ones. So it's not. It, it would be the first from scratch Titan Track GCI roller coaster, but it could still be possible. However, I'm going to go on the more likeliest of. Um, of suggestions and one of the more likeliest of ideas and that is bringing in that iBox track and building a Rocky Mountain construction hybrid roller coaster bringing in the track putting it onto the cheetah steel structure and creating iron cheetah or twisted cheetah or steel cheetah or pff, I don't know Cheetah running what not cheetah running wild <laughs> That's a bit of a, a weird name there, but I think there's some real great potential Possibilities here if anyone's good at no limits Two, Please recreate cheetah in an RMC format and send me the link in the comments down below because I want to watch 
um, your guys' interpretations of what you think the layout would be for, a, for an RMC Cheetah. But it looks more and more likely that an RMC Cheetah would happen, and I'll tell you why. Because, like I said, GCI Titan Trap, there hasn't been a completely new one from scratch as of yet. So I think it's really possible they go with the RMC option rather than a full brand new GCI Titan Trap from scratch. Another reason why they go with the RMC route is because it is, in my personal opinion, more of a completely new coaster. The GCI Titan track for me just tightens up rough elements. It makes it a better ride experience. A new RMC would completely revolutionize that site. It would bring a completely new coaster. And I think it would make a lot of sense. So I'm going for the RMC Cheetah prediction. I think that's what we're looking for here. I think with the structure in place, I think with the track ripped out of it, I think we're looking here at a 2022 opening. I might be wrong, but I think we could be. Um, and we'll see what happens. So, I mean, I mean, it could be 2022. It might be 2023. We don't know. But we probably should expect an announcement in the summer, in the next couple of months, maybe, if this is for 2022. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Shell, Killing the Coast Live. Stay tuned for a video from Dollywood uh, very, very soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill day.